people living along the lake shore in the South Towns are still recovering from that damaging windstorm. With another round of high winds in the forecast tonight, so now Witness News reporter Madison Carter went to see how neighbors are preparing. Here's a picture of me at 21. This is you right here? Look at the beach. Oh my goodness. We used to have 120 feet of beach. Jack Schultz says a lot has changed at his home along the lake shore in the past 86 years. He's been in this home on Hoover Road since 1933. We had a row of trees all the way down. Now we don't have anything. The wind and ice damage, he says, didn't start coming until the 70s. Now I look in the backyard and I see the water right up to my wall. You can see some of the damage the October windstorm caused to homes nearby. Now people who live here are getting ready to face it all again. Because what's in direct contrast to what that storm brought the weekend before Halloween is people's uh, seawalls and infrastructure to protect their homes was in place. However, all that's now damaged. Neighbors are hoping for anything that might help protect them from more damage here. But emergency okay, services manager Sean Crotty says there's not much that can be done. Sandbags would be no match for the, the wave heights and, and, and power of the water. So it is really kind of a hold your breath. You know, you prepare for the worst and hope for the best. No matter what happens, Schultz says you'll find him right here the next day. You still keep coming back, uh, fixing things. I was born here. Yeah. I love it. I love the water. I can't say anything more. And people living out here are not only bracing for another round of wind, they're also bracing for the cost to rebuild come morning. At Hoover Beach, Madison Carter, 7 Eyewitness News.